After new tonight, a man who made it big comes back to Georgia to give back to the community in which he grew up. Aaron Wise joins us now with more on how the founder of a nonprofit organization is on a mission to restore and re-energize his former community. Aaron. Rapper, investor, and entrepreneur Marquez Brady, who now lives in Oklahoma, takes time to fly back to his hometown of Macon to oversee a special initiative that transforms blighted and abandoned spaces into affordable student housing. I really just hate to see it how it is now, and I really feel like I can do, um, I can bring something good to the neighborhood, and I, I want to do it. Marquez Brady, a Macon native now living in Oklahoma and founder of God Bless Us Foundation, began Bear Necessities, a community initiative that he says is anything but bare. Brady says the aim of the project is to take blighted, distressed, and abandoned buildings like the site on Duncan Avenue and renovate them into affordable student housing with full amenities. There is a lot of distressed properties in the, in the Macon, the Middle Georgia area. And we feel like we should kind of take initiative to uh, bring those back to life and provide housing for students. Along with a full security system, parking spaces, electronics, and a washer and dryer, the renovated spaces have a vision board, a special touch of motivation that Brady says was pivotal for his own success. I have one major rule about the vision board. Anytime something goes on the vision board, it has to happen. You have to figure out a way to make that happen. Regardless of how long it takes, it doesn't matter. It has to happen. A resident of Duncan Avenue says he would like to see his neighborhood look like it did when he was young and believes this project is just the start of that vision. I think they're doing a real good job and somebody is going to follow them behind them. Simmons, who watched Brady grow up, tells me he is proud of the man he's become. I'm very proud of the young guy coming back and doing what he had to do to clean up around right here, make it look better. Brady's partner in Macon native David Brown says it's only right if you have the means to do so to create change. The community needs uh, a change. And in order for change to happen, you have to be the change. Now applications are being accepted for the spaces that have been completed at tbnprojects.com. Brady tells me he has nine more spaces being prepared for renovations on top of the four he is currently working on. He also hopes to acquire buildings large enough to hold community centers to help inspire the youth in these areas. Reporting in Macon, I'm Aaron Wise.